For more on where this race stands with just over seven weeks until Election Day, I'm joined now by national political correspondent Steve Kornacki. Steve, what does it look like post-debate? Yeah, Kristen, well, it looks a lot like it did pre-debate, but let's take you through. What are we looking at here? First of all, this is the national poll average here of Harris ahead by two points. The NBC News average of the major national polls over the last two weeks. And that means just about half of the polls that are in this average have now been conducted after that debate. And you see Harris with a two-point lead nationally. And of course, one of the things we've talked about is in the last two elections when Donald Trump ran, 2016 and 2020, he was able to, he lost the popular vote in both of those elections, but almost won the Electoral College in 2020 and did win the Electoral College in 2016. And here are the states that we think will determine in the Electoral College, the seven core battleground states. Again, the NBC News poll average here, they are very, very close. You can see that Harris with slight advantages in some of these. Trump in Georgia and Arizona, North Carolina tied. It would also flag for you. You remember in 2016 and 2020, one of the stories of the election, polls were off and they were off in specific places. Two of the states that missed the biggest in polling in the last election were Michigan and Wisconsin. And notice those are the states right now where Harris has her strongest advantages in the polling in 2020 and in 2016 in those states. Trump voters, blue collar Trump voters were underestimated in the polls. It's a question. Has that been fixed or is that something that might happen again? Let's take a look, though, at the road to 270. Now, here's a big if. And I stress it's an if, but this is just to show you. If we took this, the states that are Harris blue right now in the average, the Trump red, North Carolina tied, and we plugged it in to the 270 map, you see that would have Harris at 276, Trump 246. 270 obviously needed to win, but again, extremely close there. And from Trump's standpoint, even looking at this, Here's the path for him. It's the simplest path if he's going to win this presidential election right now. Again, with that small lead in the poll average in Georgia, North Carolina tied. And remember, Trump did carry North Carolina in 2016 and 2020. So let's say Trump were able to, this is just sake of a, a if here, but if Trump were to get North Carolina, then he would need one of Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, three states he carried in 2016 that he lost to Joe Biden in 2020. But you'll see right here, just with Georgia and Carolina, if he wins Pennsylvania, he's got what he needs. If he wins Michigan, he's got what he needs. If he wins Wisconsin, he's got what he needs. So bottom line, the Trump path, pretty simple there. The Harris path, protect those three. We'll see what happens, Kristen, going forward. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.